fantastic bunch of people here this evening. Participants of the I Inclusion Summit, the founders, the organizers, stars from the corporate sector, NGOs, people from the social sector. And it's because of you that this evening is possible. I do a lot of transformation kind of work, but honestly, I cannot think of a more transformational platform than this one. Please give yourselves a good hand of applause. So Feroz once asked me, he said, why does loss or pain transform? He said, why does loss or pain transform people? And as I'm here today, and I look around me, I'd like to share my humble perspective on this. So let me start by asking you this. What has happened to you in your moment of loss or pain? The first thing that happens to most of us is denial. This can't be happening to me. And then we say, why me? And there's anger. Then comes helplessness. And finally, acceptance and surrender. And in that moment of surrender, something else happens. Something quite magical. In that moment, we lose our ego. In that moment of absolute acceptance, we begin to see the world differently. Not through the clouded, distorted veil of our ego, but we begin to see things with a lot more clarity. We begin to see things not as we are, we begin to see things as they are. We completely stripped of all earlier notions of who we thought we were, who others thought we were, and there just comes total acceptance. And this to me is the first and the single most important thing that comes out of loss or pain. Because pain dissolves ego. And this to me is also the thing that marks out all these people whose achievements we are here to celebrate today. They have evolved into post-ego beings. Let me tell you a story. I have a bad arm. I have paralyzed it and broken it and broken it and paralyzed it so many times that I forget which came first. As a youngster, I went through multiple reconstructive surgeries and doctors said I wouldn't ride, probably wouldn't even drive. A few years later, I was doing both. Was it easy? No. I had a lot of stuff I had to overcome, both physically and mentally. But eventually, I got there. The last time I broke my hand and paralyzed it a little more was just five years ago. And the doctors again said, I wouldn't ride. Today I ride a Harley Davidson. Was it easy? No. But this time around it was because I couldn't find the keys to the bike. My wife had hidden them and uh, it took me a week to find the keys. Because you see, every time I went through a surgery, it also did something else to me. Apart from fixing it, fixing some part of the problem, it also altered my definition of fear and failure. And this to me is the next big thing that comes out of loss or pain. An altered definition of fear and failure. And so, the wonderful people we have with us today have not been born without fear. 
they have learned to overcome it. Because courage, as they say, is not the absence of fear, but the mastery of it. The third thing that I think comes out of loss and pain is the rebirth of compassion. We're all born with a lot of compassion. But many times in life, we grow layers to our personality that covers up this compassion. We are like onions, you know, as we grow, we add layers. But just like onions, when we cry because of loss or pain, we peel off one of these layers of hardness and allow the light of compassion to shine. Because compassion brings about empathy. Compassion brings about sensitivity. Compassion then makes us grow a big heart with lots of space in it for everything and everybody around us. So let's take these three things that come out of loss or pain. The dissolution of ego, mastery of fear, and the rebirth of compassion. And what do we have? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you what I call the human Beings who have truly gone beyond ego, who are courageous beyond comprehension, and who are compassionate beyond logic. I give you the participants of the India Inclusion Summit. The India Inclusion Summit is an inspirational platform for the inclusion of people with disabilities. Disabilities immediately brings to mind an inability to hear or see or walk or something that many human beings take for granted. But what about people who have eyes but have no vision or perspective? What about people who have legs but no balance? And what about people who have ears but who can't listen? So to me, these people with the disabilities are actually people with life abilities. They are people who have gone beyond the human condition. To me, this is an opportunity for everyone else to acquire these abilities from these supermen and superwomen whose achievements we are celebrating. So in that sense, the India Inclusion Summit is not just a platform for people with disabilities. It's a platform for everyone else to find inclusion and acquire some of these abilities from these people whose lives we are celebrating. Welcome to India Inclusion Summit 2016. Thank you.